at the storage unit on a crispy, cold Thursday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday. Wednesday. We don't know what day it is. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and thank some people. Uh, Miriam, thank you so much. You bought a ton of stuff out of our store. You knew all the good stuff. Get it? <laughs> and they also bought your cool little footstool here for the sewing. What we're going to do is we do combine shipping. So something like this is we're going to pack all of your smaller things in this and then put this in a box. Make sure it's padded and everything's good. And then we will refund you the amount that you paid over the shipping. Mm -hmm. And then Kathy, thank you so much. You bought this really nice Harley Davidson shirt that we just listed the other day. We do appreciate it. And I just picked these up. The video is not even out on the beer thrift machine. I bought a whole bunch of U.S. Open golf towels for three dollars in super good condition um i bought seven for 20 bucks so a little bit less than three dollars a piece and this one sold like within 12 hours for 17 no for 13 dollars plus shipping and then alicia thank you so much you bought this cool little wedding vase right pottery vase and then a america leather jacket look at this guy that's really nice so we do appreciate the support on that these always sell thermostats honeywell thermostats pick them up for two to three bucks at a yard sale degrees. 69 degrees in here and um they always sell 20 25 bucks that one sold for 25 dollars we got some glasses here sylvester and that guy what's his name i don't know, I don't know. uh 12 dollars plus shipping on those and then we did sell a exxon racing truck for I think like 10 bucks plus shipping. These don't go for a ton of money. Uh, we have only a couple left. We bought these probably two years ago at a yard sale, like a ton of them. We're already in the profit, but they just kind of are slow movers. And then we got a vinyl LP over here. A lot going on on this one. The sounds and sights, the music experience of the imagination comprised of conducted by Ray Martin. You know Ray Martin is Ricky Martin's brother. You pulling my leg. Yeah, that's not true. Uh, Four dollars <laughs> on that plus shipping, so we're gonna go ahead and pack this stuff up, send it out. Back at the storage unit on the same day, just what an hour, two, four hours later, we had two more sales come in. Um, one was from a viewer, so we want to come over here, get these, so send them out as fast as possible to you. They're from the State Street Picker. Thank you so much. You bought our <laughs> zombie hits. <gasps> we just posted this video on the beer thrift machine and. They didn't, I thought they would, you know, they would sell fast and we had them posted on eBay for a while and we posted the video and then State Street Picker came and said they are uh, just cool enough for his man cave. So cool. they would look cool with like a hat on. I mean, they are neat looking. They're very, very cool looking and you can't really find them. Then this right here is a Bolo on itself. It is a 19.2 volt craftsman plane like a wood plane this one has something even wrong with the blade but it is in working order comes with the bag and this sold for what 60 bucks mm -hmm. plus shipping if you have it in the blades in good condition everything uh they will actually sell for like 80 dollars used i don't know that's just that's good money for this you know what i'm saying so that's not too bad we uh we had a private pick today mm -hmm. and this is important and i think it's always important if you're doing this as a hobby, as part-time, as full-time, it doesn't really matter. No, let people know what you're doing. You know, say, hey, I have to sell stuff online. And if you need, if you know, if you have anything to sell or you're having a yard sale or you just need to get rid of some stuff, let me know. I'll come over and I'll give you a fair price for probably more than you're going to get at a yard sale, to be honest with you. Because I always do a little bit more for private picks when it comes to like how much I give people because one, it's like easier. Mm -hmm. Like I go one spot. We're going to go pack this stuff up, send it out. At the storage unit, we have some pretty cool sales. I just listed from a private pick of vintage 1978 uh, Rand McNarly. Roadmap with red case sold almost instantaneously for ten dollars plus shipping, and also a Craftsman fifty foot U uh, United States made air hose thirty five dollars plus shipping. This was the most watched item in our store, and nobody ever bought it until now. It is a vintage Christmas classic twelve inch tree topper sold for nineteen dollars plus shipping. Ping, nice little uh, golf shirt here, extra extra large, nineteen dollars plus shipping on that. Spark plug. 450 plus shipping. $15 plus shipping for Tommy Bahama. We don't really pick up. This is a very old sale or very old shirt. Uh, we might have picked that up like two or three years ago. We don't pick them up anymore unless they're embroidered on the back and, or they're super special looking because they usually only sell 10 to 15 bucks. Unless you can get them for a dollar, then I would probably pick them up. Uh, this right here is an Olympus digital voice box recorder. Voice box. 
It's not that. <laughs> it's a voice recorder. Twenty dollars plus shipping on that, and then nine dollars for the Hamilton Beach mixer cup. I said these will always sell between ten to fifteen bucks. We took an offer for nine dollars plus shipping, and that's all of our sales. As we were about ready to leave, we sold this. This is a not so old Coleman adjustable two mantle gas tank. So it has the pump on it right here, boop, 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 and it has the lid right there. So, and then basically what I did, I bought one of these, like a, a lantern at the yard sale for $10 and parted the entire thing out. I took everything apart. This part right here just sold for $15 plus shipping. So every other part will be in the profit. So you have like where the little thing goes in here, that's going for like five or six bucks. Like the little knob on the side, five or six bucks. The globe goes for like 10, the top nut, like code goes for five the top vent goes for ten so i always part those out and they do a lot better for me like the the lower ones like this was a 288 i think that goes a lot better if you part it out like one back here that has the case like this guy it's like a single lantern this one's kind of nicer this one i wouldn't part out so you kind of got to look them up because this one is worth uh considerably more than one that looks like this this one's actually worth around 50 to 75 bucks we actually have it listed for 125 with a whole bunch of watchers i think it ended up selling around 80 bucks so this one right here i would not part out but the regular ones that look like this that are only worth like 10 bucks to 15 bucks like not used that's the crazy thing about it if you like this part right here you could buy a whole new lantern for it but the shipping would be more so that's why i think people you know actually buy the parts they need so pretty cool so again parting these out are actually pretty nice almost as good as choppers and juicers at the store tune on a late Sunday, we have a record weekend. 51 so far have sold on Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Midway through, we'll tell you what we did, but let's go ahead and go over. We'll tell you what we did to get that many sales, maybe? Possibly? Eh? Yeah? Yeah. We did some stuff on the eBay store that seemed to work. So, we're going to go ahead and go start off with these. These are vintage shoe tree stretchers, lots of four. They sold for $20 plus shipping. Right next to that is a vintage Department 56 Dickerson Village uh, Dursley Manor. So for $23 plus shipping. And we had a Chia Pet sell, $11.70 plus shipping. Then at the house, we had a um, tap and die set. No, just tap sold. For eight dollars, not like tap shoes or any other type of tap, just a tap for a screw. Eight dollars plus shipping. Thirty bucks for the Rockwell uh, twenty-four thousand RPM air tool. Twenty-four thousand. That was untested. I now have a air compressor in the uh, garage, and I can test these. So I'll start testing those. A lot of my air tools I actually sell untested. Sometimes the seals are bad. And uh, so you have to test these air tools out. Now I have an air compressor, I can do that. $22.50 for the Olympus Super Zoom. Then this you picked up the other day for five bucks. This is the um, Bose SoundTouch 10 wireless, the Bluetooth. Always look out for Bluetooth Bose. They go for a really good amount of money. This one's in rough condition, but still work good and still went for $55 plus shipping. $10 plus shipping on the little quarter inch drive Craftsman. And then we sold a Hoyt drill set. That's the uh, the set of drill bits, $25 plus shipping, almost instantaneous. We sold the Mother's Powerball mini polishing tool for $17.10 plus shipping over the house also. And they're over the house because uh, I listed them three days ago and all these sold within three days. Craftsman uh, cordless drill. It's the 19.2 volt. So for $13.95. And then we sold this little lamp right here. looks like the old Pixar lamp. $30 plus shipping for the little Pixar lamp. Isn't that cool looking? So always be on the lookout for them. And uh, we got this at the 127 for like two or four bucks. Also an OEM motorcycle tool set from Kawasaki sold nine dollars plus shipping and then uh, what we're gonna do is pull some more orders because we got 42 more to go put our next slew of items look at this nice Harley Davidson jacket women's Harley Davidson jacket sixty five dollars plus shipping Mary 20 bucks plus shipping uh, this is going international which is pretty cool it is a throttle body to a Mustang I cleaned it up really really nice it's to a uh, 
a Shelby. It's to a Shelby, and it looks like it went for $44.99 international sale. That is our only international sale out of the 52. International sales are weird. We'll get like a slew of them, maybe for like three days. We'll have like one each day. We won't have another international sale for probably like a month, right? Mm -hmm. And then we'll get a couple more, but out of this weekend, out of 52 items, we've only I got one. This is a Marlboro Racing Swiss parts stainless steel doesn't work watch $24 plus shipping same person that bought that bought this right here It's a uh, race scanning uh, Scanner race scanning scanner if that makes any sense then there was a little piece that they bought really nice I mean I'm just brand spanking new craftsman half-inch drive Then they bought this really nice craftsman guys got good taste. I'll tell you that that is a almost a brand spanking new Breaker bar, old V series. It does have the serial number on it. They also bought a vintage Craftsman clench wrench. That's pretty fun to say, clench wrench. Anyway, um, and all of that was sixty-nine dollars. And then they also bought the Husky Made in the United States breaker bar and extensions for twenty dollars. We do combine shipping, so we'll pack all that up together, see how much it costs, and then refund you the amount of money that you spent over on the shipping. North Pole, air mail. What? Air mail me some electricity. $15 plus shipping on that. We sold a knife. $15 plus shipping. And then this big bad boy right here sold. Here's another Department 56. This is the London Gin Distillery. That thing sold for $71 plus shipping. And then the little clown sold. And I'm not talking about me. <laughs> Emerit Kelly Jr., the teacher, uh, signed. It is signed, and it's sold for $100 hairs plus shipping. We're going to go ahead and put this in the wagons. Pull some more orders. Sold more. $13 plus shipping for the vintage vice made in Japan. It's like a clamp vice. It clamps onto something, and then you squeeze stuff. Rainbow parts, all in the profit, $23 plus shipping. These are just the the, um, the little part Boop. attachment. There's four of them for the Rainbow SE vacuum. Rainbow vacuums are always do well parting them out. Make sure you get them cheap enough, and then you can make some good money on them. Dremel press, we just picked up. That's sold for $35.99 plus shipping. This sold for $10.80 plus shipping. $8 on the little cereal bowl, Fiesta Wear. Bobby Filet. Right here, cast iron sold, 10 doll hairs plus shipping. A cobalt magnesium float. This is the second one. People might, must be out there doing concrete work or working a lot because these things are selling like hotcakes. $13.50 plus shipping. A pair of shorts sold from Evolution, $16.20 plus shipping. A broken Saab 90 mile an hour speedometer sold for $41.40 plus plus shipping a craftsman professional needle nose plier six inch sold almost immediately for thirteen dollars plus shipping um these are the candles that are between the teacup candles and a big candle votive votive candles actually there was a reference on these in a gilmore girls episode two day two nights ago did you notice it i didn't hmm. They sold for $20 plus shipping. A handheld tachometer I picked up for, I think, 10 bucks the other day. Sold for $46 plus shipping. You sold for $10 plus shipping. That's going out to Buck Mountain, so thank you so much. You had fuzz in your mouth. Thank you so much. It's heading your way. And then we sold another one. Purple. Purple Bowl from Fiesta Wear. $11.30 plus shipping. We're going to pack these up in the wagons. Pull some more. Uh, Bose right here, center center channel. Speaker sold $30 plus shipping. Have a little pocket knife right here. Sold for $19.99 plus shipping. I'm telling you, pocket knife sold really well. Picked this up the other day for $5. It's a left-handed, tailor-made wedge. 54 degrees. Sold for $35 plus shipping. Another Bose. I mean, I feel like they always sell. This is just the... Uh, cord to a Bose, $18 plus shipping. Simply Southern shirt, brand spanking new. If you like this, we got a whole bunch. They are size small. There you go. This one was $18 plus shipping. We'll make a deal if you buy a whole bunch because we have a whole bunch still left. Uh, Salvador Ferragamo shoes, very pretty. Look at these. Woo, brand spanking new, $20 plus shipping on those. Ammo can. This has been sitting out in the garage with me for, I don't know, 
74,000 years. And I was like, I have nothing in it. So I listed it $17.70, almost instantaneously sold. And then uh, Craftsman Digital Multimeter sold $19.99 plus shipping. That is at the house. The stethoscope, stethoscope sold. It is the Litman, which is a very nice Cardio 4, which I think is their newer one, Rainbow Stethoscope. Look at that. Ooh. Sold $120 in pre-owned condition and it sold within a week, right? Mm -hmm. Always look out for these. There are a couple other good brands out there that you need to look at uh, when you see them at yard sales. Even 30 bucks, we're obviously going to go ahead and pick that thing up and flip it for 120 And I lost all service, so we're going to go uh, right here. Bose, again. Looking for it. $49 even plus shipping on that. Robert Redford sold. Jeremiah and Johnson. Warner Brothers, $5 plus shipping. $6 for some staples. No, sorry, Brad Nails. Porter Cape Brad Nails, six bucks for those. And then $12 for these things. Do you know what these are? They railroad steaks? I could eat a steak. Oh, like a nice ribeye or T-bone, yeah. New York strip. A1 sauce. A1 sauce. Who else eats A1 sauce on their steak? I, when I first met you, you start pouring A1 sauce on a, on a steak that I cooked perfection. And I was like, you don't need sauce for this. You're like, yes, I do. And I was like, she's a sauce lady. Basically, we've had very slow weekends up to this. And maybe fourth quarter starting to roll in. We don't really have huge boosts when it comes to fourth quarter. Maybe $1,000 or two a month gross, which isn't a whole bunch. But this is one of our biggest weekends, probably in what, three months? Mm -hmm. And all I did was we listed a whole bunch of stuff. And I watched a video the other day about somebody saying how listing stuff can actually damage your store with sell through rate and everything like that. Basically, it's, eBay is pretty easy when it comes to this. List things with good sell through rates, find them, and list a lot of them. If we could all do that, we'd all be millionaires, right? That's basically how it works. But yeah, say if you went out and like listed pine straw. You got pine straw and you put it in a whole bunch. You listed a hundred little things of pine straw. Yeah, that's not going to help your store. Pine straw doesn't sell, right? But if you go out there and find good items, like we got a big thing of tools, right? Mm -hmm. And we listed, I, what did I list? 50 to 60 items, mm -hmm. I think in two days. And tools, a lot of those sold. And then also drives a lot of other stuff to your um, store. That's what I believe. We did that, so I had a good two listing days. And then you listed some high-end stuff that we just picked up at um, some yard sales. So you have good stuff, right? So you list good stuff. Mm -hmm. You list a lot of it. And then we did dynamic promotions, uh, ceiling at 9%. So if you go to your promotions, you do the dynamic. We did ceiling at 9%. It kind of like moves, I guess, daily. And then we did a small sale this weekend of like 10% off the entire store. You're like, that's 19%. I'm telling you right now, 19% of this is a lot less or a lot more. A lot less. Now the haters have something to talk about. It's a lot more than 19% of what we were selling before. Like we, we were having some pretty rough weekends. This weekend, I think we did like, I don't know, like 2,000 bucks or something. It was a lot. It was a lot for a weekend. So right there, that's all we did. We changed it up a little bit. But really, the key to eBay is finding good stuff cheap and listing a whole bunch of it. And I mean, that's, that's everybody tries to like overcomplicate it, I think. And that's really about it. That's all we got. We're going to pack this stuff up, send it out to y'all.